I want that to be true and I love that you think that that is true but I also hate that you think that that is true because I hurt still. It's just been an interesting experience putting my story out there, realizing that people are going to make it whatever they want it to be. That's uncomfortable. all the time. Um, this is why, two reasons. First of all, to move anything anywhere, I basically have to like pack up shop like a child in a backpack, um, which is totally fine. But secondly, I don't actually know if you know this, but uh, I, there's a study that's been done. I'll see if I can find it and link it. But as an amputee, you expend 30% more energy doing anything, which is interesting because you think it would actually take less energy to exist because you have less body parts. But no, it actually takes a lot more energy to like stabilize and move and do anything. And I have noticed that because I eat so much more than I used to. So I'm either gonna get real chubby, which hey, that's fine, um, or I'm gonna keep sweating and just eating a ton and being exhausted and will eventually adjust, which I hope, hope, hope happens. In the meantime, let's get some coffee and I would love to chat with you about Something that has been on my mind the past couple days. I was doing my hair in the mirror this morning and I didn't want to straighten it and so I thought I would go for the, like, my hair was up in a bun all night and now it's kind of curly and messy and cute and now I'm looking in the viewfinder and it looks like the unwashed, unkept hair look and I'm just gonna pretend like that's in style too. So, as my coffee is brewing this morning, I wanted to share an experience that I had with you that really made me think and in the moment I was like, oh, that's fine, that's weird, but that's fine, but as I thought about it a little bit more, you know when something sticks in your head you kind of think you should probably pay attention to it. A news station show did a piece on me, which I was super honored that they did. I have been so honored that so many people and places have taken interest in my story, sincerely. And something that has been very interesting throughout this process is you, you realize how much um, people can take things out of context and people can edit things to be whatever they want them to be. And I've been grateful that people have not done that too significantly with my story. But this particular show was so lovely to me and showed one of my videos and then like showed some pictures and pieces of my story and were just like talking about me and were great and I was watching it. And then they got to the point where I was walking for the first time on my prosthetic leg. And one of the people said, oh my God, it must have been so amazing for her to walk without pain for the first time. And it kind of like hit me a little bit and I was like, ah, uh, that's not true and that hasn't been true yet and I really hope that that gets to be true sometime soon because the reality is, is that that day was filled with a lot of pain. The reality is, is that I've never taken a step without pain. That hasn't happened yet and I hope that it does soon. Right now, I'm not able to walk at all. We've got all kinds of weird issues going on with my residual limb or stump or nubbin or whatever you want to call it. It's a process and to hear people want to put like a bow on my story like it's all done. First of all, I totally understand and I do not fault them at all. Like I get that. Especially on shows and articles and stuff like that. Like you want to project a good ending like this is a happy story and like we did it and we're there, but the reality is that we haven't done it and we're not there. Like, my progress is still progressing. My journey is ongoing and there are a lot of issues still in place and I feel like I'm still just starting out. And so please don't take this like I am in any way complaining about all of the lovely articles and videos that people have made and, and all that and the attention that has been given to my story. I'm sincerely so grateful, but at the same time, it is very interesting to see that once you put your story out there, people do whatever they want with it. And people don't do their research, which again, I was fully aware of because I've been a human being in the world, especially existing online for a while. And you know that people don't always do their research and that's okay. I guess it was hard for me, honestly, to hear people celebrating for me 
walking without pain when that has not happened. And I am desperately hoping that that will happen and that that will happen soon. And I guess right now I'm scared that it won't because I don't know what's going on with my leg because we still have, I'm calling him Gary the Gremlin, just that lump that's there that we don't know what's up. I have an MRI, MRI on Monday and we'll see more of what's going on. I have a feeling that it might require surgery. So we'll see. I look forward to the day where I walk without pain, but we aren't there yet. And I'm so looking forward to the day when I can run, because I will get a running blade, damn it. And I will run and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna take you guys with me, but I'm not there yet. And I've never wanted to project an image on this channel that isn't authentic and isn't real. Um, I'm a work in progress and my story is a work in progress and I still hurt and I'm still taking it step by step with one foot. So uh, I just, you know, I, I'm not sure what the message in today's video really is except for me just kind of talking out loud and saying that it really is an interesting realization that when you make your life more public, people will take from it what they want and leave what they don't. And that's just the reality of how it works and that's okay, but it is weird. And sometimes I think it hits a little bit of a soft nerve in me when I'm like, I want that to be true and I love that you think that that is true but I also hate that you think that that is true because I hurt still but we'll get there one day at a time French press Ooh, I spilled it French press coffee is complete and now I'm gonna get down to work uh, for everyone who is asking the next video the next video after this one is going to be the Q&A video I do uh, like I'll schedule some videos depending on the day because I never know what a day is really gonna feel like or be like. So, for everyone who's asking, the next video is gonna be the Q&A one. It'll be a bit of a longer one, so make sure you tune into that one day after today, and I can't wait to see you. Wait, wait, don't go anywhere, I totally forgot. Uh, I did wanna let you know that I released my actual website a couple days ago. I hadn't announced it, but I wanted to let you know. So, if you go over to footlessjoe.com, check it out. Uh, I just have basic stuff up right now. I did want to let you know that I'm going to be teaching a couple courses in 2019. They are not released yet, but you can check out what they are going to be. And take a little a look a little more about me and let me know what you think of the website. I would love any feedback. I will be expanding it. I do public speaking in real life. And so I also do have like a booking form for anyone interested in that, you know, in the area. And as I grow that and continue traveling. So love any thoughts, any feedback, anything I did wrong, anything that's broken, let me know and I look forward to your comments. Thanks guys. Have yourselves a lovely day. Make some coffee. Take a moment to sip some tea and relax and uh, take care of yourselves. <laughs>